Update 10 on Typhoon Surrogate, which has pretty much maintained intensity over the last 12 hours, located at 14.7 degrees north, 126.3 degrees east. This is as of 12 a.m. in Manila. As of right now, we have it with winds of 145 miles an hour and a pressure of 928 millibars. Only thing that's changed is the pressure going up by a millibar over the last 12 hours. Still moving north-northwest at about 4 miles an hour currently. Here it is in relation to the Philippines, of course, as previously mentioned in Category 4. And its wind field has expanded considerably over the last 12 hours. 195 nautical miles is where the tropical storm force winds extend to the northwest, 175 on both eastern quadrants. It is 154 miles away from Karamoran, 228 from Date, 315 from Palanan, 355 from Palayan, and 410 away from Apari, which is located in the northern end of the Philippines. That's 248 kilometers from Karamoran, 367 from Date, 507 from Palanan, 571 from Palayan, and 660 kilometers away from Apari. Those signal 1 and 2 warnings are located at the bottom of your screen for reference as to what are in effect as of this moment. Here it is where we have it compared to other agencies. Sakthon has it slightly higher with 150. We have it at 145. Joint Typhoon Warning Center just recently downgraded to 140 and ADT has been dropping off at 130 miles an hour at this time. Here's the cone made by Walter. We have a little bit of uncertainty as to how much it will weaken over the next uh, 12 to 18 hours so as a result we've cut it at 130. There is likely to going to be some differences to that, so do not pay attention to that. It will likely remain in Category 4 for a little bit regardless. After 18 hours, it is likely that it continues to weaken as it makes that a way to turn eastwards. And that weakening will ensue until Day 5, where it will continue to weaken down to a tropical storm by that point. Here are the sea surface temperatures in the region, 27 to 28 degrees Celsius waters at the moment. That is going to be decreasing as this storm turns towards the east, and that is what it will be helping this system weaken as it progresses away from land, away from the Philippines. Here are the HWRF wind swaths. Looks like most of the tropical storm force winds are pretty much done. Uh, maybe some 30 to 34 knot winds in the northern Philippines. The rainfall looks like a 1 to 2 more inches as we could be seeing. Uh, one to two. Looks like the general trend for intensity is downwards at this point. D ship is a little bit drunk still, uh, putting this back up to category five. Shear is going to be on the rise, skyrocketing by the 23rd at the very latest. Off the charts there. Sea surface temperatures will also be taking a massive cutoff by the 23rd, and humidity looks to be on the decline by the 23rd as well. So those. Three factors will be combined together to create a weakening surrogate. Here it is on satellite. Its eye is pretty large now, and that has been the case ever since it completed that eye wall replacement cycle yesterday. A trend that continues as it pretty much decides whether it's going to be making some kind of restrengthening or not, or whether it will just continue to only be weakening at this point. Something we're going to have to look out for. Most of the impacts are done in the Philippines at this point based on where this storm is heading, so that is a relief. Flooding rains and gale force winds seem to be the primary threat as this storm begins its move away from the Philippines, and it is luckily not going to be making any more severe impacts beyond this point.